The goal of this video is to show you how to find x-intercepts of the graph. You've probably already talked about how to find the y-intercept of the graph. The y-intercept of your graph is this number here at the end when you're in standard form. So I know that this graph goes through 5 on the y-axis. But there's a, there's a way that you can find out the x-intercepts of the graph, and it's simply by factoring the quadratic function into its different factors and then setting each factor to zero because one of the other terms for a, an x-intercept is a zero. So we're going to find the zeros on this function by factoring. So I'm going to use my reverse FOIL or reverse box method here to, to factor this polynomial into two binomial factors. It would have to be x times x. That's the only way you're going to make x squared. And then there's only one way to make 5, and that's 5 times 1. So I will put this here, and let's check and see if that's the right answer. Of course, 1 times 5 does equal 5. What about the 5x and the 1x from your FOIL, right? The outside and inside, they add up to 6x. So this is the factored form. Now, we want to find out when is y zero, okay? Because x-intercepts always have uh, the y-coordinate being zero. So we want to figure out the x that would make that happen. So I'm gonna get rid of that and we're going to set it equal to zero. Now I have another video and you've probably already done this in class and that is how to solve an equation like this. You set each factor to zero separately and then you just solve the little simple equations that you have. So x equals negative 5 and x equals negative 1 are the x-intercepts of this graph. So I think I'm going to redraw this graph a little bit here for you because I know it goes through 5, but I've just discovered that it goes through negative 1 and also negative 5 over here. Now, the leading coefficient here is positive, so we already knew that this was going to be a parabola opening up. Well, now we know that the parabola, if I were to sketch it, looks something like this. And the axis of symmetry, of course, would be right in the middle, wouldn't it? Where would that go through? That would go through negative 3. And we could even figure out the vertex by plugging that in, and in the next example, we're going to do that. But I wanted to show you how to simply find the x-intercepts first. So here we have a second example. I've got a polynomial function here, x squared minus 4x minus 5. And specifically, it's a quadratic function because the exponent is a 2. So what we do is we reverse FOIL, we factor it, and it's going to be x minus 5x plus 1. You can check your work, remember, by doing your outside and your inside. And those do add up to negative 4. And I pick numbers that multiply to be negative 5. All right, so if we set each factor to 0, we, say, we see x equals 5. And then on the other function, or the other factor, we set it equal to 0, we get x equals negative 1. So we could put a dot at negative 1, and we could put a dot at 5. So that would be the way the heck over here on our graph. Where does this graph cross the y-axis? Because we've already done the x-intercepts. What about the y-intercept? That's this number right here. So we're going to go down on the y-axis to negative 5 and put a dot. And we can start to visualize this graph. It's going to be a parabola, right? It's going to open up because that a value is positive. The middle of the graph is going to be where? What you could do is you can average the two numbers. So you could add 5 plus negative 1 and that's 4, and then divide by 2. So it goes through x equals 2 is the um, axis of symmetry. So we could come down here, and we know the x value is 2. So how do we figure out a y value if we know the x value is 2? We just plug it into the function. This is a machine. It's a function. And when we plug x's in, it will tell us 
what y is paired with that too. So let's go ahead and do that. y equals input squared minus four times input minus five. That's what this machine does. We're putting two into this function. So that's y equals four minus eight minus five. That's negative four minus five, that's negative nine. So two, negative nine. So way down here at negative nine is where that vertex is. One more example, I wanted to do a couple things with this example. You see how the leading coefficient is negative, so what does that mean? That means it's going to be concave down like a frown. It's going to open down. Um, also, I wanted to have a number that is not um, 1 there, so you can see how that works. Now, we're going to factor this. I do know that this thing goes through 3 on the y-axis, because that number is your y-intercept after all. So let's factor this. The first thing I'm going to do is to get rid of that minus sign. I'm going to remove it on all of them. So I get positive 2x squared plus 5x minus 3. I just think it makes it easier to do that. Hopefully you'll agree. y equals negative. Now I'm going to reverse FOIL this. It's got to be 2x and x. That's the only way that's going to factor. And the only way to make negative 3 is negative 3 and positive 1. Well, if you put um, the pos or positive 3 over here, that gives you 6x on the outside, right? And then we need negative 1 to get ourselves to that 5x. Because remember, 6x minus 1x is our 5x then. So I've factored it. Now we get rid of the y and we replace it with 0. So we say 0 equals, so now you just set each factor. You don't even have to worry about that minus sign out front. You just set each factor to 0. So you see x equals negative 3. That's an easy one. Over here, I think we're going to get a fraction this time. 2x equals 1. If we divide by 2, we get x equals 1 half. Now, no worries. We're just going to go over a half. So here's 1. Here's a half. That would be 0.5, right? And then the other intercept is way the heck over here at negative 3. I tried to do it as best I could to scale. All right, so we have three dots on our graph. So I think we can sketch it, folks, because remember we said it was going to open down. So it's got to look like this. And of course, the middle of the graph, where is the axis of symmetry this time? I told you to find the axis of symmetry, you can take the two x-intercepts, add them up, and divide by 2. So that would be negative 2.5 divided by 2, which is negative uh, 1.25. So right here at negative one and a quarter is where the axis of symmetry is. So this would be at negative 1.25 comma something. And of course you could plug the 1.25, the negative 1.25 into the function and get the y value. I won't bother doing that because it'd be kind of messy, but you could certainly use a calculator to do that. All right, hopefully this helped you on finding the x-intercepts, and I also talked about the y-intercept on the graph, um, and you can quickly map out the, the parabola, actually, knowing those three points give you a pretty good indication of what the function looks like. You can also easily find the axis of symmetry by averaging the two um, x-intercepts. Add them up, divide by two. That gives you where the axis of symmetry is, which also allows you to get the vertex. All right, good luck, and until next time.